We only look at what we can see. For most of human history, this has meant that the pursuit of health and beauty was based on observation and trial and error. Both the doctor and the cosmetologist focused on visible signs and symptoms with no understanding of the underlying mechanisms. The 19th century saw the advent of genetics, a scientific revolution. Differences between people could be explained by differences in their genes caused by mutations inherited from their parents. Taking good care of oneself was considered important, but one's individual genetic code prevailed in determining destiny. We started seeing the emerged part of the iceberg and it looked rock solid. A second scientific revolution took place 50 years ago, molecular biology. Its objective is to study the mechanisms that explain all living phenomena. We discovered that the invisible part of the iceberg was in fact a very complex machine with instructions written in DNA and executed by proteins. We also found out that genes were not everything. To make a difference, they had to be transcribed into RNA and translated into functional proteins. This process, called gene expression, was responding to the environment and health and beauty both depended on it. For example, ozone pollution leads to the activations of genes that encode skin collagen degrading enzymes. Once the ozone peak is gone, the expression of these genes is inhibited. The second scientific revolution told us that the living machine was full of on and off switches. Today, another scientific revolution is taking place. It is called epigenetics, the science of what's around the genes. It explains what genetics cannot explain, phenomena like variations in the health of identical twins and the finding that one's lifestyle can directly impact the health of future generations. It is not about on and off switches. It is about the readability of genes in response to what we eat, drink, breathe, touch and feel. Epigenetic programming can override genetic control. For example, Repetitive exposure to pollution can cause chronic expression of collagen-degrading enzymes, even if the air is clean, and even a century later, in our grandchildren. The good news is that, unlike mutations, epigenetics can be reprogrammed to reinstate healthy gene expression patterns in a variety of tissues, including skin. Mabel scientists are actively researching biological compounds that do just that, and their discoveries are laying the foundations of a brand new class of active cosmetic ingredients. The epigenetic revolution is underway. Its mechanism, DNA methylation, histone acetylation, and other chromatin remodeling processes are being unraveled. The implications of this new science are far-reaching and hard to predict. We are beginning to explore the deeper part of the iceberg. It is a brand new adventure in health and beauty, and Mabel Biochemistry is proud to take part in it.